are here with After Hours Gaming, and we are coming at you with a new video, a new stream. We are still talking about Game Pass games, what's on there, what can you play, what can you experience, and for a majority of the experiences, I will be experiencing them for the first time. I've not played a lot of these games, uh, so we should drive into them together and see what we can come up with. Uh, I am the Xbox guy because I am the one that plays Xbox the most, and everybody else has a computer. Um, I do, well, I have a computer, but it's not like a good one, and, um, you know, it's just not really worthy of the computer vibe, you know what I mean? Uh, but today, as you can see, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a quick two-parter. So, watch this stream, and then a little bit, come back. And watch another stream, because this is the first game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that is on Game Pass and ready for you to digest. But also on Game Pass, there is also Assassin's Creed Origins, so we have both of the O-titled Assassin's Creed games. If there's another one, we're just not counting it this time, so it's fine. Um, thank you for joining me in this particular Assassin's Creed. Um, from my understanding of Assassin's Creed video games, the playstyle and the actual um, quote-unquote overarching story doesn't change that much, but you are in a different time period each time. Um, this is also a confession that I have not actually played an Assassin's Creed game myself. I have watched them play it, I've watched a couple videos, so this is actually my first one. Um, Let's experience it together, because it's on Game Pass, and it's free. This looks great. Uh, I normally go a little brighter for the sake of the stream, so this looks great. What is this? Oh, well, we are a... a we are a, a higher-rated channel, so I will... Um, allow stories for all ages. Story creator mode. But if I enable it, does that make it so we do see gory stories? I'll just say yes. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. New game. Guys, we finally get to be ass-ass-ins together as a team. We got our ass-ass-ins. Both of them. Both asses. We are loading. You get to be a high-profile uh, Spartan warrior. Um, Brian, I don't enough. I don't know enough about your points to dispute you, so I will. Uh, just let the people know that you're telling me that Origin, Odyssey, and Valhalla are all different from the old ones in terms of Cobalt, but I'm sure you meant combat and stuff. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. We've got Leonidas. Only famous from Assassin's Creed. He's not famous anywhere else or for anything else. That's another good lesson. Brian says that all of the historical figures in this are made up and they're not real. Like they don't exist in present day. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it, has led to where you stand, right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? <laughs> For our sons! Yep, same thing with Spartans. They don't exist anywhere else in history. They are just made for this game. Everything. Spears, shields, red, the color red, all just made for this game. Nowhere else does it appear. Brian 
these games are all are all action RPGs, says Brian. Brian, the man in the chair for these episodes, it's normally Fred, but we like Brian too. Rob has never been my man in the chair. What's Rob's deal, you know what I mean? Brian, I have spent thousands of fictional seconds investigating these fictional elements. These are fictional facts, for sure. Little did they know I was experienced! I think I just did my own die, actually. Hold RB, press A. Oh, L. Well. You know, this is a spear, so I could probably just attack from like 80 years away, right? Nope. Nope. Again, I think that was my, my own guy, to be honest with you. Nope, it sure wasn't! Oh god, it sure wasn't! some fire. Look, Brian, I really don't need the negative support right now. I think you're trying to hit me with a classic uh, bit of sarcasm. I don't appreciate it. Oh, well, get out of the way, dude. There's a spear over here, shield guy. Like, come on, man. Guy's obviously not experienced. Smartin, more like Spearton! You know what I mean? Brian, backing me up. You know what I mean? Spearton. You know, I'm sure I'm supposed to get... Damn it. I'm sure I'm supposed to take out these these 40 guys, so. God damn it. Alright, uh, mm. Got him! Oh, I brined him! I brined him! I took him off a cliff! I brined him! Ooh, a new cutscene? New cutscene. Hey. I didn't have a sword in any of the fights, and I just threw one at that guy. Again, Xerxes? Not actually a real historical figure. So it's actually funny because uh, I'm making all these historical jokes, but uh, when I went to do Age of Empires 2, I was like, oh, I want to do this because it's ripe with historical facts that people will enjoy and find educational. And now I'm just like, Xerxes isn't real. Ouch. Dude, I just did 10,000 damage, bro. Alright, hold on. He just did a lot to me. You know, they were like, press LB to break to break block, and then this guy has just never blocked again since they told me that. 
Yeah, punk. Brian him. This one's for Brian. Brian, oh look, an achievement! Woo! This is Sparta again. Sparta, not a real place. Battle of 300, not a real battle. These are all fictional facts. Seriously though, these games are actually uh, pretty uh, pretty okay from a history standpoint. We are betrayed, my king. Brian, why are you mate you you know I'm listening to you know I'm watching the Twitch chat. Why are you putting your comments and also the the Facebook chat? By dawn you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? That single Persian soldier is real. He is a real historical figure. Spartans, however, aren't real, so nobody knows who killed them. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. You know, this game's pretty intense, and I kind of like it. Finally. Brian, what's your favorite Assassin's Creed game? Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be- Just died of Victoria. There seems to also be boss. a secondary viewer. And I will initiate a hello because they're joining us and I love them. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's see. Uh, God, no. We're already bad at video time. games. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This we are never looking for anything more intense, Game Pass. Damn. I do love a good mystery. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. No, oh, Brian says Odyssey is his favorite. Uh, well, he says maybe. He says maybe it's his favorite. So we're potentially playing right. his favorite one. Anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Yeah. Gotta go with Cassandra. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It 
holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Bull rush. Oh, I already, I already know that. Brian, I don't know, to be honest with you. I only think I'll be able to answer that question Brian had asked if I plan on being in the game. I only think I'll be able to answer that question after I finish this little uh, this little introductory run-through. So far, it's been fine. But I want to kind of get a better handle on it before I uh, think about beating it. Why, are you trying to expose some secrets, Brian? Oh, we're playing as this bird. We certainly could be in for the long haul, Brian. It is on Game Pass, so it's free. for you tell your boss he can stick it that's for last week Malaka. the cyclops said you like to act tough so act tough get a little closer and i will you should know by now the cyclops always collects his debts you have a lesson I already parried them. I don't want to parry them again. I've already learned this lesson. Leave me alone. Never mess with the Cyclops. Ugh, how do I shot web? Brian, nobody will fight Cyclops later. That is a Homer's The Odyssey reference, and I hope somebody gets it. Every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Brian, I don't think that's Thanks true. For the warning. Wait, why did we lose the PG rating? What are you talking about? What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Icarus is a real historical bird. That is true. Maybe you could ask him for me. You know what? Let's talk to Zeus. We're in it for the long haul. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Why is this one in yellow? Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. 
Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of figured the yellow one probably ended it. Why? That's why there's like an exit symbol. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. Yeah, I hope we get to beat Marcos' ass, even if he is a weasel. A giant weasel. I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. The nickel has actually existed since this time, so that's a fact. Ooh, choices. Ooh, ooh, we got a bra in them. We got a bra in them. coming here. Ow, they pushed me. So my issue right now is that I keep using the. Uh... Oh, I got a reward. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Old A to climb. Old A to climb what? You fools. What do we got here, guys? Ooh, a bandit sword. Ooh, legendary sword. Brian, we got a legendary sword somehow. We did it. Well, we got an achievement. Acquire and equip your first legendary item. You know... We're not level 5 yet, so we can't use any of this level 5 stuff, which is my interpretation of why it says 5 in red. You know, again, we're not level 5, so we can't use any of this. We've got a broken bow. Ooh. Well, I mean, this is more armor, though, so I mean, like, why would we even use this? It looks stupid. So one of my pet peeves in video games is, like, when they have multiple things that you need to look at to clear, like, the exclamation points, and I'm just, like, grinding through, like, I gotta clear all the exclamation points. You can't have any exclamation points here. <clears throat> we got an achievement. It's called Fashion's Greed. Get it? Because fashion kind of sounds like, um... Assassin. Oh, we got another achievement. I didn't see the name of that one before I exited that, though. It was... something. Hello, hello.
Use the map to find our objective. So it begins. So the name of the money is Drachma. Some sort of shrine. Alright. There's a statue of Zeus. Wherever we need to go is south of that, which means this away. Hey, guy. That's our camp. You know, this feels like the right way. Well, we gotta go into every random house. This person killed a man. That goat killed a man. It's a basket! Alright, three Drashme. Are we being... Was, uh, hmm. That was quick. You know, I'm starting to think that this is not the right. Nope, this is the Temple of Zeus. So this is definitely not um, the way. And that is a health bar. Which means there's something in here. That I probably don't want to fight. It's not even showing up, so that probably means I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Not a health bar? Oh, it's a restricted area. Thanks, Brian. Brian, the man in the chair. Oh, sorry, guy. We are doing great. We have found the vineyard, and uh, we're currently moving on to the next quest. So if anybody asks, that has happened. <clears throat> what does a vineyard look like? in this day and age. Oh, that was probably this person's money. Whoops. And then I bumped into them by accident. Brian, I don't even know how to summon the hawk, so... Guess this is the vineyard. Hey! Straight ahead. We found the vineyard! We just took- we took the scenic route, which- which- which was our plan the entire time. Is that that guy?
All right. Oh, darn it. Oh, oh my goodness. I didn't even know about Hawk Mode. Why the heck did I summon this bird? There's a burrow. I feel like I don't I don't think the game explained this bird at all. Listen, Rob needs to housebreak the corgi. It's all good. You know, I don't know about the wayfinding on this. Like, I know it's 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 showing me exactly how far I am, but I think it changes objective really. Really quickly. <sighs> am I supposed to? Am I supposed to to land here? Oh, I can set a marker. You know, why does it keep asking me to do that? What you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Oh, I did it. I did it all by myself with no bird. No, you didn't do it right, Brian. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together we will oh, revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in town. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine. Good night. Like wine. Everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? 
Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Uh. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him. Exactly. Everybody benefits. <laughs> Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. Uh, Everybody benefits. Got him. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. <clears throat> We're gonna ride a horse. We're gonna go to Sammy, and then I think we'll we'll leave it at that. But uh, let's look at this horse. You know what? Gut check. We're going. We're going forced. We're going horse. Uh, on the left. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Full send. Are you sure? Because I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Derby. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Wow. <laughs> we completed a quest. We're riding a horse. Fuck you, cave. We're riding a horse. Oh no, there's water here. We're not riding a horse. We're going around on a horse. How do I get off the horse? Yeah. Come on. Gosh darn it. I guess we're in this cutscene now. Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Grass 
We'll keep me hidden. Sneaky, sneaky. Huh? I heard Marcos is going to be next. Huh? Is someone trying to mess with me? You know, <clears throat> we seem to find a lot of games on Game Pass that involve uh, assassinating people, ironically. Time to get Phoebe out of here. so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? And now the audience knows why we didn't just kill that Marcos guy. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Bake him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. To glory. Go. Could you imagine if he wasn't dead? Like this was just this was just setting a precedent that this character always spoke what sounded like last words to their family all the time. Worry too much. <laughs> You don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you. They actually said gurgle, 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 because they're dead. Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. 
I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here. Talos the stone fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Huh. The Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Well, look on the bright side, at least he's the only one. <clears throat> I don't even think I should even bother- oh, there's a horse! Oh, new saddle. Wow, your target is currently four levels above you. You know what? Let's go collect some money and then let's, uh. Let's get out of here. 54 hours into the game? That's pretty good, Brian. Oh, 51. Yeah, that's not as impressive. I, th I thought it was 54, so. It's not the same. What? You just come, come from the water? Did you come out of the sea? Like what? Move! Come on. Oh boy. Oh god, I thought that was a cliff. I was like, well, ooh, an abandoned house. Should we explore the abandoned house? You know, I still don't know how to get off, off of the horse. Yeah. Hey, we discovered Sammy. Hey, we destroyed that thing. It's a horsey, duh. What does that mean? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, you know, it would have been nice to have been told that. Yay, we completed it. Yeah! <laughs> I was cosplaying. <laughs> this horse is just allowed anywhere? Like, with the. Disrespect your surroundings!
Oh, gotcha. Hello, good one. Luis. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself if he wants his money. Huh? Ah, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. All right, we won't be a bully. Oh, that's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. You know him, he's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. <gasps> wow. Killing Duris is always an option. Hey, stop! That's my stuff! All right, all right. I'll pay you, just stop. Fine. The man is yours. <laughs> well, kill him. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. I love this guy. He's just like, oh no, the consequences of my own actions. Alright. Down at the bottom right is what I can only assume is a... <sighs> Ooh. Uh, is a, uh, bounty, was what I assume is a bounty hunter, uh, thing I'm about. Well, he paid me, Brian. I'm not gonna kill him now. Well, I guess I should return to Marcos first. And then, uh... Oh, hey. Hey, obsidian glass. Damn it. You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Luris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back! Uh, can't we? I'm sure it's possible! We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's what I do best! This'll take more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. 
You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Moana! Don't see fishes like you every day, eh? <laughs> oh. Ha. You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. <laughs> Start him young. Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a mystios with a hovel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You wow. Know, always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. I love that. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. I love that. These two people, myself and this uh, Marcos guy, seem to be the only two people doing things for people, and they, they're they just like, well, we hurry the fuck up. Is her workshop that puddle? There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Sweet. We did it!
Oh, I leveled up. Well, Brian says that we should always save the levels up levels up until like later on in games, so he actually doesn't like it when people uh <clears throat> level up in front of him, so So I'm gonna save the level for later because that's what Brian would do. So we're not gonna spend that ability point until Brian Brian says it's okay because he's played this game before. <laughs> he just says it's false information. All right, let's spend our level up and then let's get out of here, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's quest. We have an ability point. Oh, we start at the bottom here. All right. Should I be a bow and arrow guy, or a warrior, or an ass or an assassin? Uh, I do like revealing secrets, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna reveal secrets. Uh... We've got some mercenaries here. Talos of the Stone Fist! Alright, we got a mercenary breastplate. <clears throat> but also, we need to, uh... Oh, okay. These are all locked. Okay. Alright, folks. We are gonna end our journey here. It's a little over an hour, and I know... I know Rob likes to keep us locked in for 30 to 40 minutes, but uh, yeah, this was a good game. This was a good experience. Um, I think the quests have been good. I think the stories have been good. What's this diamond? Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Uh, Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! That's what she Marcus said. Sure just, 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 just now. Goat. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do, and be quick about it. <laughs> I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be uh. saying that. All right. I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my All right. We are going to take our leave. Uh, we're going to try to get back in later on. Potentially tonight or tomorrow, depending. But uh, I'm going to give this a first look rating of an 8. I'm liking the story so far, and I'm liking the Cyclops. I'm liking all the uh, Odyssey roots. So, maybe join us again for something later. All right, guys, thank you so much for viewing, and you have a wonderful evening.